my name, my name is Kyung Jae Wang. My topic is zinc bromine fluorescence battery. These are my contents of presentation. I will explain the conventional zinc bromine flow battery and zinc bromine fluorescence battery and its mechanism, challenges, challenges and strategies for zinc bromine flow battery. And I will, I will introduce about the recent, recent studies about the, about the battery. A zinc bromine battery has been started with a flow system. It has a complex structure, including an external tank, reservoir, pipes, and other components. Zinc ion and bromide ions, which are the active species, are in, are in each reservoir, and it receives a continuous supply of electrolyte from an external tank. During the charging process, bromide ions are oxidized at a positive electrode to form brom2, which, uh, while zinc ions are reduced at the negative electrode to form zinc. It means that the two ions can be separated to each electrode during charging process. Zinc bromine flow batteries is the most promising technology for large-scale energy storage system, and it has an advantage of non-flammability of the aqueous electrolyte. But the flowable and corrosive bromine species make parts corrosion, and the many extra systems such as reservoir pump pipes are, are required for operating the cell. In summary, the flow batteries have, have a disadvantage of complexity, size, cost of the system. However, zinc bromine flawless battery does not require a supply of electrolyte from an external tank. In other words, uh, Unlike the flow system, it doesn't, doesn't have any extra equipment such as pump, reservoir, or pipe. Also, the surge in electrolyte, zinc bromide, has a low <coughs> cost compared to vanadium redox flow battery and lithium ion battery. So, it can be cost effective and simple to set up the whole cell system compared to flow battery. However, a critical challenge for this system is the problem of self-discharge, which usually results in low columbic efficiency. For instance, as I explained, the BROM2 can be, can be formed at positive electrode during charging process, and this BROM2 molecule can combine with additional bromide ion in the electrolyte and form polybromide such as BR3- these species are soluble in the electrolyte, so they can diffuse from the positive electrode into bulk electrolyte, driven by concentration differences. Further, it can directly react with the negative electrode by cross diffusion, and leading to self-discharge and low column efficiency. Therefore, in this fluoride system, it is very important to prevent the cross diffusion of cor corrosive bromine species. There are some requirements for improvement to, of electrochemical properties of zinc bromine flawless battery. In anode, we can make a various type of functional group on the surface with a high surface area. And in additive, Making a complex state is the most important, and we can change the electrolyte properties. In separator, the mechanical and chemical stability is important, and it should mitigate the crossover the bromine species. In cathode, we can improve the performance of battery by, develop, de by developing the electrode structure and introducing the heteroatoms in carbon structure materials. In terms of the structure, we should optimize the battery structures such as beaker cell or stack cell uh, or coin cell. And we need to design new cell system for fundamental research. Many researches have been reported in cathode materials where the bromine reaction occurs. The main point is that the bromine species can be entrapped in porous carbon electrode. In this paper, they synthesized a hollow spare carbon structure by using silicon oxide substrate, calcination, and CO2 activation. So it can entrap the BROM2 within each 
support size exclusion, which is 1 to 2 nanometer size. Also, there has been a lot of research conducted on electrolyte additive, which is from a complex agent. In this paper, tetrapropyl ammonium bromide was used for additive oil of electrolyte. It can combine with brom species by converting fluidic bromine to solid phase as shown in figure. And this solid complex can be interacted in the electrode. It means that the TABI can inhibit the bromine cross diffusion and it leads to high reversibility.